All right, I had to get on here and talk about Deion Sanders and the whole Jeff Collins deal. Happy for Georgia Tech to finally get rid of Jeff Collins. Um, struggling, uh, he had a lot to deal with, a lot to overcome, and we get that. We all understand that. But to have three wins in your last three years, you're you're not doing yourself any favor, especially when you lose, you know, 20-something of your starters uh, as far as both sides of the ball. Um, so it is what it is. Nothing you can do about that. But the whole Dion coming in, a lot of people don't think that Dion's going to do it, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't do this. Guys, Dion's competitive. If you guys ever saw him play, he's competitive. You can say what you want. Oh, well, he enjoys being where he is. He enjoys this and that. Guys, him being at Georgia Tech, knowing that it's a, a, a project, He's going to love that, first off. He's competitive. Second, being in, what, the second best state for high school football in the nation, he's competitive. He's going to be in the bed of it. Three, dude dominates the NIL game. All of the companies, all of the businesses that are in Atlanta, all of the celebrities that are there, and the fact that this man in his prom was who he is. He was prom time. He already has connections that not many other college coaches have, especially not in their first year as a power five or a division one coach. So for me, I think he brings in a little bit of swag to uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, he's also gonna get a few of those guys from Jackson State to transfer, including his son, including Travis Hunter, the number one player in the nation from last year's recruiting class. And if you don't think that the number one player in the nation and Travis Hunter cannot come into Georgia Tech and compete right away, you're fooling yourself. That's so disrespectful to all the previous number one players in the nation. To say just because he chose to go to a lesser school all of a sudden makes him a lesser player, it doesn't make, no, it doesn't make sense. Will he have to adjust? Yes. Everybody has to adjust to speed. You, you have to. That's, 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 that, that's how it's always been. But I could see Georgia Tech, you know, dominating with that. I could also see other transfers. I could see kids from other schools wanting to come and play for Dion. I could see the staff him making, a beautiful staff. But if they're going to do it, you need to go ahead and do it. You need to go ahead and, and reach out to him. You need to go ahead and announce it. You need to go ahead and, and capitalize on that. Because if you can do that, you give Dion time to get a lot of these recruits in Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Alabama, South Carolina. Give them time to make that decision. Don't wait till the end of the year to hire him. Give him time. That way he can start building this class and start helping his team out. That's honestly, I think that's the way to go. Uh, so if he goes there, I could see in a few years the Georgia, Georgia Tech rivalry starting to flare back up. And I want that. I'm jealous of Alabama. Alabama, well, Auburn's not great now. But the Iron Bowl used to be great. It used to be awesome to watch. I want that. So anyways, that's my thoughts.